I'm going to be reading out each question sent by some of our subscribers, some of our viewers. Starting ACC or CFA around the age of 28 or 29, will it be worth it? Doing ACC without a degree, is it a good choice? So hi guys, um, a lot of y'all have uh, sent us questions on YouTube to specifically answer ACC related questions. And uh, before I get into it, I know it's been a, a, a huge break, a hiatus from our end. And actually it's because of a personal reason. I uh, recently got married and because of that, I've not been able to really shoot as many videos as I would like to. We've been getting a lot of comments from you guys about, uh, you know, post these kind of videos and where have we all been and things like that so first of all i'm really sorry but now we're back and i think the first video we want to start with is answering your questions uh, which i think a lot of you have been waiting for so with that said in this format in this video format what i'm going to do is i'm going to be reading out each question sent by some of our subscribers some of our viewers and hopefully help the rest of you all also have these questions answered so with that let me begin the first question, um, the name is not actually with us. Uh, the question is starting ACC or CFA around the age of 28 or 29, will it be worth it? Uh, are there age restrictions related, entry barriers in corporate? So uh, the, the short answer is no. There is no uh, barrier when it comes to age. The, the corporate world is still looking at the end of the day for capable, competent people. If you clear the exams, if the interviews go well, um, there is nobody who will say that, okay, uh, you know, because you're slightly older, we don't want to hire you. That being said, it is always easier when you uh, start any of these qualifications earlier, uh, because for you specifically, you would not want to earn a, a fresher salary at a later stage. If you have experience uh, before you start your ACC or CFA, then you actually won't have that much of a discrepancy. Uh, corporates at the end of the day will not have a problem. Second question is by Karthik Arvind. If I'm sp if I'm pronouncing these names wrong, I'm so sorry. Uh, so I'm 26 years old now with no prior experience. Just started to prepare for ACCA. Will I get a job after clearing knowledge level? That is the first seven papers alone. If yes, what kind of a job would it be and what salary? So it's similar to the question I just answered, Karthik. Uh, first of all, knowledge level, by the way, is the first three papers, not seven. If you want to start uh, looking for a job immediately after knowledge level also you can and you ask for seven papers that also you can the uh, answer is yes you can get a job what kind of a job uh, anything in the field of finance and accounts is available currently we've been placing students uh, across india in various corporates from the multinational corporates to tier two companies it depends on what you're looking for you have profiles from accounting in finance in mergers and acquisitions and valuations you have options in audit, statutory, forensic, etc. So there is no limitation to the profile. Now, what kind of salary? It depends on you. Do you have experience so far? Have you worked in this industry? Where are you based out of? How soon will you complete? Is the timing of you wanting to get placed a matching with what the corporates are looking for? Based on these factors, your salary can range anywhere from 5 to 15 lakhs, depending on where you land up with the job. Next uh, question is doing ACCA without a degree. Is it a good choice? Does ACC have a future? By Hansa Feza. For all of you who don't understand this question, what, what, what Hansa is asking is, if you don't have a graduation degree, but you just complete your ACCA, do you still have an opportunity in the market? Answer is yes. Uh, ACCA is like a chartered accounting qualification. As long as you're a CA or an ACCA, your BCom or your BBA is not that important. Uh, your entire skill set, your entire performance, your entire future will depend on this qualification and how you use it. Um, I unfortunately do know of people in India who don't have a graduation degree and a lot of corporates at the HR level filter out candidates based on the graduation. So with that said, if you have a graduation, it's always better. Uh, even though it might not add in immense value, it does help you, you know, get through the door. And ACCA has this option of OBU, which is the Oxford Brooks University from which you can get an, a bachelor's degree without any additional studies as such. Uh, I'm going to put a link below for, we made a lot of videos on OBU, so you can have a look at that. Uh, but, uh, so, so to, to prioritize, yes, uh, without a BCom you can, without a BBA bachelor's degree you can, but I would recommend if you can take get, you know, get the degree. If not, still look hard and fast, you'll land up with a job for sure based on how you actually use your qualification.
education. And the last bit is, um, if you you know you know have a little time, then take up this Oxford Brookes University degree. It's a shortcut to getting a, a, a graduation degree without actually attending three years of college and uh, things like that. Uh, as many of you all have been reaching out to us, we are one of the only, uh, probably the only ACCA Platinum partner in the country which has an integrated course with a BBA, a BCom, and an MCom with certain universities which are acknowledged uh, as independent universities. Now, how does this matter to you? What happens is we have uh, maybe 10% of our current audience who comes to us and says, look, I just given my 12th or I've just graduated and I want my bachelor's degree or my master's degrees along with ACC. So what we have, we have tie-ups with universities where you attend online with that university. So least amount of uh, you know effort when it comes to attendance and things like that. And you start studying ACC with us normally. What happens is the first nine papers out of 13 of ACCA are sort of merged or integrated with the bachelor's or the master's curriculum. So you study the ACCA curriculum and you add simultaneously also complete your bachelor's or master's curriculum. You give the exams as bachelor's or master's and obviously you'll pass that. And because you pass that, you are considered as having cleared the nine papers of ACCA as well. And then you just give the final four papers the way most other candidates land up giving. In this manner, what happens is in a period of two to three years, you not only get your graduation, but you also complete your ACCA and you study one thing and you actually get two different degrees. One, one MCOM BBA, MCOM or BBA or BCOM and the other is the ACCA. Next question is by Siddharth Banerjee. Can you explain how the world rank system works in ACCA? Who gets one of what are the criteria in any subject to get a world rank? So uh, it's a very simple logic. First of all, it all depends on your marks, right? Yeah. The, the ranks are split into national rank, for us it's India and international rank. So let's say I just gave any exam, let's say I gave the financial reporting exam. I scored 93. Now from all the people in India, if 93 is the highest, I first get a national rank. That way you get a national rank 1, national rank 2, national rank 3. This is your national rank. If my rank is 1, I will also get a corresponding global rank. So in the world then, if there are let's say 93 is rank 8, so I will get national rank one, global rank eight. That's how the entire system works. And the criteria is just study it super hard, uh, get the marks and you will hopefully rank with all. The we, we uh, I think in the June quarter of 2022, uh, we had a student who scored 100 on 100. So he got uh, for financial reporting. So he got rank one uh, India, obviously, and rank one globally. So that's how it works. Um, how much difference does it make in monetary terms if one would get a world rank in ACCA? I, it, I don't think there is a, a, a much of a difference in the monetary value. But uh, what happens? So I had earned the rank uh, when I was studying ACCA. And what happens? I put it in my CV under achievements. I put it on my LinkedIn under achievements. So it does help over there because once again, it catches the eye of the employer. But when it comes to, so let's say you have a uh, rank and I don't, and we both apply. You might get a little bit of a slightly, you know, a higher expectation from the employer and you might get a slight bias because of the rank. But if they hire both of us, our salaries would 99% be the same. Okay, uh, Arslan Jafar, does the number of uh, attempts or the period to complete ACCA matter? If yes, does the time taken to pass FI account? It doesn't matter for the employer, it matters to the student or the candidate. If you complete your ACCA by the age of 21, which you, you can if you start at 18 or 19, you obviously have a, have a time advantage. I, I remember because I had completed ACCA early, I started working at PwC and I realized very quickly what are my strengths, what do I like, what do I not like. Uh, and that gave me the advantage by 23, I was more prepared than most people who maybe finished their MBA or maybe their CA at 23, 24 and started their career. So companies still hire the people who are 23, 24. Uh, but the advantage is for me or for you as a candidate. So that's where the number of attempts or the time duration actually matters, not for the corporate world. The next question is, what is the cost of ACCA after CA, Inter and BCom? Okay, first of all, uh, the, the fees of ACCA I know com com is, is quite detailed and complicated. So I'm going to make this easier. I'm going to first answer the question very directly. What is the cost of ACCA after CA, Inter? and BCom. I'm assuming you've cleared CA inter in this example. Uh, in that case, the cost would be approximately two and a half to three lakhs spread over a period of one to two years, depending on how quickly you land up completing. 
This includes the ACC exam fees, the registration, there is something called exemption fees, of course the training fees, the study material, everything is included in this two and a half to three lakhs if you've completed your CA Inter and BCom because out of 13 papers, you get six papers exempted, which means you have to only give approximately seven papers, which is half the qualification. This is when it comes to this particular question. Like this, I'll make it very simple. If you start ACCA up to 12th, which means after 10th or after 12th, it will cost you approximately four, four and a half lakhs spread over three years. If you complete, if you start ACCA after your graduation, you get on an average four ex papers exempted and the total fees for you will be approximately three, three and a half lakhs spread over two years and so on and so forth. We have an entire detailed video again made. I'm going to again share the link here. Please have a look at all the different kinds of fee structures that will help you guys uh, make a decision based on the cost and the duration and what value you get out of these kind of qualifications. Uh, next question is by Krish. Okay, Krish, uh, is it true that we can look for jobs after clearing the skill level of ACCA? Hundred uh, percent, yes. We have placed again. I'm repeating. We placed tons of students. Uh, not only after their skill but even during their skill and sometimes even after their knowledge level. Um, companies in India have for the last five years really started appreciating and looking for ACCA uh, you know, candidates who have completed partial papers as long as you get into the right kind of corporate and here we can help you. Uh, so the short answer is yes you can get it is true um, every single day we are placing students time and again. So there is no denying that, uh, that uh, Indian corporates are willing to hire ACCS of the skill. So guys, I think these were the uh, immediate questions that I felt, uh, you know, and some of them are overlapping. So if I missed some of your questions, I'm really sorry. Keep asking us. Um, but I think I would have answered most of your questions through these uh, answers. With this being said, we're going to do many, many more of these kind of Q and A's. Uh, we're also going to try and go live on YouTube to answer more questions. We're going to be on Instagram. We're going to answer this on LinkedIn. Uh, hopefully, it's not just about ACCA. Anything, if you are a commerce student in India and you want to somehow enter the field of finance and accounts, we should be able to help you even if it's not to do with ACCA or CFA or CMA, which is something that we are experts in, whether it's CA, whether it's MBA, we'll be able to help you with whatever you would like. So keep researching on these kind of qualifications. Any other questions, let us know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.